let's talk about Batman, the Joker, and God. I would always see my example of perfect moral absolutism being Batman. Mind you, like the Bible, there are many different versions of this character. Well, I don't mean the Bible as a character, but I mean many different retellings of similar stories, different characters. But what I really want to get to is not the things they have in common, but the things that make them so very different. I have an ideal of what Batman would do. Many would say Batman does not use guns. And I would say yes, that is a true Batman ideal. And people use a similar reasoning behind God. Except they act like it's not just their opinion. I admit that I am no one to decide what Batman's uh, anything is, mind you. His moral center, his, his origin, it's not up to me. I mean, I could make my own version of Batman, but it wouldn't... Well, maybe I could make it exactly to my ideal of what I think Batman stands for. I'll get right down to it. Is Batman stands for fighting injustice in all forms against anything that would hurt just basic human uh, goodness, you know? Like, he's not even a matter of just going after violent crimes. He does go after uh, robberies and things like that. Things that I personally wouldn't think large enough for someone to, you know, go out of their way and, like, try to stop that. It's not a violent crime, but the reason why you can see Batman doing it is because it's part of his reasoning, because in, again, multiple versions, but in most versions of Batman, his parents are mugged, and it's over a very simple crime that his parents die. Like, they're not killed because they're the Waynes, and I'm sure there's a version of Batman where they're assassinated because they're exactly who they are, but that's what I'm saying, is like my idea of Batman, that's what I see there, is that he will fight against all crime because any crime, any injustice can lead to a greater injustice, or the greatest injustice. Now, the Joker, he's Batman's villain many different versions of him, but the funny thing is there's probably less variety in your different kinds of Jokers than your Batmans. But the core idea remains the same, except when you go to like alternate universes uh, and he's like a hero and stuff, but I mean like the villain Joker is pretty basic. It's... Life is just it, kind of the comedian from Watchmen kind of thing is life is just a fucking joke, you know, like let's see if we can make some people laugh, you know, like what's the punchline? Is it someone dying or or some horrible mass uh, poisoning or whatever? This is funny to the joke. That's what it comes down to is he doesn't care. And Batman does care. That's what I'm getting to here is uh that's kinda what makes Batman a hero. And uh, it's what makes the Joker a villain. And getting to God, he's supposed to be beyond a hero, I would say. A Christian trying to explain God as a hero just wouldn't do him justice, because he's so great. I don't think that, again, multiple versions... In many ways, I think that Batman wouldn't trust a lot of the things that he does to anyone else because he needs to know that it gets done right, except for those closest to him that he absolutely does trust. And again, varying versions where he depends on no one or he depends on someone. Okay, but what it comes down to, 
I'm kind of losing my train of thought here. I'm, I'm like kind of veer off a little bit. Is uh, Batman's a hero, Joker's a villain, and uh, I'm sure Christian. I, I can't imagine. Could a Christian really say with a straight face that God is more moral than any version of Batman? Even the most violent? The versions of Batman that use guns and, and extreme uh, pain compliance? and There's lots of versions of Batman where he's not so nice. But usually that's recognized as not being in Batman's character. They say, well, this is an Elseworlds story. Right? But with God, you, uh, you basically say, uh, okay, we've got this all-kind loving character who loves everybody, wants everybody to do good, and gives you all free will. But then he'll go and do something like destroy you with natural disaster, something that you couldn't have any free will over. Or is the idea that you're supposed to build a fucking weather machine and use your free will to build the fucking weather machine and fuck around with the, the weather so you can literally stop these huge cataclysmic events that seem so very random, almost like there's no god there at all. Getting back to Batman Cares, I believe that's where my train went off track. It's Batman Cares. Cares enough to do anything, you know, like, in most versions you would easily see Batman giving his own life to save anyone, just any person. But he wouldn't give his life recklessly, he wouldn't just sacrifice himself in the name of goodness. No, 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 he would be smart. And he would survive because he needs to continue and help more people. Now, God, on the other hand, is he going to help someone because they praise him? Because you see, Batman, he's probably never going to tell someone that he'll be there no matter what. That no matter what's happening, he'll be there. But I could see Batman saying something along the lines of, if I'm there, I'll do everything I can to help you. But here's God. Supposedly everywhere, at all times. And does nothing. Supposedly acting in the background. But not clear enough to the point where we can all make a distinction that it's done by him, or that it's for any reason. The Joker makes a game out of life. The Joker constantly tests Batman. And most people say he's, he's the devil because, oh yeah, he's, he's trying to get Batman to break. And that's how he'll win, right? But then, there are other versions of the Joker where he doesn't want to kill Batman he loves Batman Batman is his opposite the other side to his coin and uh, much like God he tests Batman putting out great tribulations for him to prove that he is up to his own standard. This the standard that Joker has caught a glimpse of. This incorruptible standard. Something that is definitely not seen by God in the Bible. Because the Joker is... Uh, backtracking the Joker is... The Joker probably will make deals and stuff. But usually... I find that he's actually kind of incorruptible because he's so insane. Like, he doesn't care about money or whatever, unless it's for a bigger gag or something after that, you know, to mess with someone. He cares about the, the shock and the fear.
beer. That's what makes him laugh. And really, his motivations are all over the place. Much like the character in the Bible, who's testing everyone for seemingly crazy, insane reasons. Sometimes it even seems almost makes sense, like he's making you stronger, making Batman stronger with all the tribulation. But when the Joker has a horrible task for Batman that often results in uh, many people dying, even though Batman tries as hard as he can, Batman isn't corrupted, right? That's what it comes down to. Is it, it, an example of the Joker winning, per se, in the in the scenario where he doesn't want, or when he, where he does want Batman to fall from Batman grace, is uh, the Dark Knight Return, where the Joker's stabbing Batman in the in the gut. Yeah, that's a realistic situation. I thought that whole fight was pretty crappy, but anyways, he's stabbing Batman in the gut. And Batman, you know, the Joker's just, like, laughing his fucking ass off. Because, you know, he always does. And Batman, a very dark version of Batman, mind you. I would say very far away from the true version. Although, watching that movie, I can always nitpick and say, that guy's not really dead. But he breaks the Joker's neck. But he doesn't kill him. Like, he, he breaks his neck, but doesn't sever his spinal cord. And so, the Joker takes that as a win. Because... He didn't. He didn't go as far as kill him, but he was that close. Like he lost control. And that's where you could make the Joker more akin to the devil, where he's trying to get you to fall. But in say the Joker in Death of the Family, he wanted to turn. This is my interpretation of it. Mine, just like the Bible, lots of interpretations. My interpretation of it was that he got Batman to be so afraid that the Joker knew every step he was going to take, knew his path. 